starting at PMOS, uh, the part of the layout. Uh, we're going to look at these two policy sequence first, uh, which is the A and D. You can see it is connected to VDD. So, drawing them for the PMOS part. And this is A. And we have our, I'm sorry, D. L looking closer, we can see this uh, third policy icon. The, the nodes uh, will move it to the right, assuming it, assuming it is connected to the to the one in series for PMOS which is E and we'll look over this at the side from 2 which is connected in series which will be RB And again, we'll move to the right, to the fifth, which will be our C. Now, the C is parallel to A and B, noted from the connection from the layout, but series with D and E and C. And from the connection, we can see that A and D is connected to VDD. And that's our PIMO side. Now we'll see that B, uh, C and B is connected to the output right here. Moving on, we'll see the connections at NMOS and we'll first see which ones were connected to ground so we can see that the fifth and between three and one is connected to the output so we'll draw that one first for the NMOS Let me just enlarge them here This is our A, and this will be our B. Paying close attention, we'll see that the the behind E and uh, it moves to the right again that uh, there's the nodes between 3 and 1 can move at two sides, two areas so we know that behind he here is series but it is parallel with one another which is Oh, and they are connected to the ground as you can see from their connected nodes so we'll just put the ground here and this is our D and E from the layout that we can see they're connected in parallel now moving on we'll see that between A and B there's another one moving to the right it is series with B and it is also connected to the ground and that's our and that's how to translate a CMOS layout to a to a CMOS schematic